Hey guys, Eclipse 14 here, and welcome back to Let's Play Shine the Holy Ark. Alright, so we're running through the Aborigin Mansion, picked up a few items, and we're going to grab a few more as we go on. So, let's make our way up to the second floor. By opening this door, and just navigating our way, and here we are at these stairs. Alright, let's wrap around and... Uh-oh, that's a red door. Well, looks like we can't go this way. And the other side is pretty much locked. Um, I guess the only real option is to go upstairs. This way. So that's what I'll do. Okay, that's red. That's green. Alright, we're going to go ahead and roll this way. All the way through. Unfortunately, I saw some heading in through the wall. Three mirages really isn't that bad. I think, um... I'm not gonna worry about magic here. I'll just run it with attacks. It doesn't seem like a good idea, but all these things really do is just cause snow. And of course hurt for a little damage, but that's kind of insignificant. I've been borderline 80 for pretty much everybody. At least on Melody's case, everybody else is above that. Freaking skulls, man. I'll be fine, no problem. 17 damage against Rhodey, though. Yikes. As long as they all go down, I'm good. Oh boy. I'm at the point where Melody's now moving faster than everybody. At some point, the speed just outright stops. Lowering. And by that point, it won't make much difference. Twenty-eight? Good lord. The price for all that freaking ghosting. Yeah, because in this case, slow is actually being run with a, uh... It's not saying defense, but it is dropping defense as well, with each one of these. And Arthur's defense is absolute trash with that round, but it gets completely restored. Fortunately, it's all temporary. Oh wow, a silver tiara! Too bad that's really inconsequential to me since I bought one in Enrich. But, uh, Brody hits level 12, and yeah, if you managed to get a silver tiara from one of these guys and didn't get one from Enrich, well done, you saved yourself 2,000 gold. Anyway, let's fix Arthur up. This, this demands a level 2. Yeah, that was a bad round. I mean, I wanted to try to avoid using my magic for that, and I mean, at least it worked, but... Yeah, that was a bit of an oof. Okay, everybody's in good shape. Let's keep on rolling. Right here with this pixie, in this painting. Check in. Speaking of, it somehow happens to be a pixie within the painting. Your next incubus in Lickness. Alright, good stuff. That covers that. Oh wow, that actually worked. I didn't think it, it'd work. I just I pressed A without pressing R. Oops. But it worked out. Fortunately, they're poison bots. They don't have that much health. One shot from Arthur and they're down. That's his third power attack. Wow. 
We've reached number three. For Rhodey. We've got two for Arthur and two for Melody. That's for certain. And, of course, Fairy Powder, because why not? Anyway, roll on here. Is this... Nope, that's a red, unfortunately. I guess we'll go on this way. Ah, damn it! I hit... <laughs> I did exactly what I wanted not to do. Press A before hitting shoulder buttons. Skeleton Warrior. Oh, Skull War, excuse me. That is kind of true, though. I want to focus on the Mirage first. I'm not sure... I am worried because the Skeleton did the double attack. But the Mirage has that freaking slow and defense drop from the Ghosts. And sure enough, Brody got hit with it. Which is a bit problematic. I can worry about the Skull Warrior a bit. Yup, there is a double attack. Great! At least that's out of the picture. And they're critical against that to start things. Alright, so... Not really gonna waste any time here. Just run a heal level one on Melody. It'd be smart to do support. I think I'll be fine. After a while, this thing will go down. Of course, it's not really doing anything but attack, attack, attack. So I have an idea on damage, so I can just prepare for a heal ahead of time. There's the... <laughs> I about said Sudoku for a second. Um, Suplex. Which is what I've been calling it since... Well, it kind of is what that is. Check this way. Well, I managed to make it work, yet I keep forgetting to hit R. How do I want to approach this encounter? The Mirages are annoying, but I'm worried about the Poison Moths, too. I mean, not that they're really hard, either. I know. Uh, I'll let Rhodey run a Brutal Fire. Yeah, I'll just run. I'll just run magic here. This way I can sweep the poison moths and only have to focus on the mirages. Bring on that wind! Sweeps them down. It works for me. Now I just need to run an attack. And that'll be this round. Got him. Alright, works out. Another fairy powder, but eh, expected that. Oh, this is green. Good. So we'll enter here. Now, I know there's two items. One should be on this desk. Table. Yep, Mithril Ore. So that's the second Mithril Ore of the game. And the other one, I think... Oh. There's a hole in this bookshelf. We'll have to get to that later. There's gotta be something. I did see a book in that one weird room, though. Well, I knew that was gonna be... Incubus right out of the gate. Incubus, Succubus. Incubus is the one that does the right. Side. Anyway, low mirage means just barrage with attacks. Oh. 
that's a wrap there. Another silver tiara? Wow. Okay. So we'll head on this way. Oh. Interesting. Well, it is green. We'll come back to this shortly. Let's head on this way. See if this one's green. Nope, that's red. Oh, shit. He's coming from above you. <laughs> uh, I... My brain went completely upside down there. And this is a fight where I don't really have much of an option. I'm just going to be running Brutal Fire and Elemental. With one Mirage, I could focus on just attacking. This is a different story. Especially since these guys have a crap load of HP compared to some of the other enemies. So the faster they all go down, the better. Which is probably going to be from two elementals and two brutal fires as far as I'm concerned. With some whacking with Arthur against the Skull Warrior. Yeah, that elemental damage is pretty good. That's just level one. Brutal fire, elemental. Let's go. So, looks like I'll have to go back to that one with the broken doorknob. And we'll probably have to use an unorthodox way of doing things. Alright, that's down. Mirage problem is settled. Now we need to deal with the Skull War. Which somehow wasn't dealt with with Arc. Fortunately, I don't need to use any more magic. That's a wrap there. Arthur hits level 13, and finally we cross 100 HP. Cool stuff. Everybody, uh, I should probably help out Rody. See if we can stay above 60. So I'll just give everyone. Well-deserved boosts. Alright, so we'll run around here. Do the one that makes sense, which is the fairies. Unfortunately, these are poison moths, which don't need much. Probably one, uh, one elemental will take out the moths. Right on the wind. Yep, I was right. I wasn't sure about Brutal Fire doing it, which is why I went Elemental. Regardless of the matter, I can just run attacks now. Got him. Alright. That handles that. Uh, I think Rudy will be fine. We'll move on this way. Alright, so we'll charge instead. So, we'll double tap up. And, well, there goes the door. <laughs> now I got some stairs down. How much time are we at? Okay, we're approaching 15 minutes. Uh, I just wanted to make sure it wasn't going too far. We need to go about this way, I think. Ah, too late. I was hit I was going for the right side. Not that this is really a terrible counter.
Endless skull. It, it was completely useless as well. Suck on that. And get out of my face. Wow, that's the third silver tiara. Well then, I thought that was a pretty uncommon drop. Apparently not. Oh, what the? Look straight forward. Let's pass out. What the hell is he doing here? Oh boy, sounds like we got trouble. With that, we finally have a fourth member of the party in Basso. Now, I did mention upon my first KO, everybody except Arthur, Rhodey, and Melody does not get automatically revived if they get KO'd. So, if Basso ends up getting KO'd, you have to go all the way to the church in Enrich in order to get him back up. 
Now, Basso has no magic throughout the entire game, so his MP will always remain zero. So, don't worry about that. His focus is just beating the hell out of everything in sight. Speaking of, what's he got on? Middle Axe. The Power Axe might actually be useful for him. Of course, all this other stuff, but it is what it is. Oh, wow, 21 minutes. Okay, so we'll grab one more item, and that'll be an episode. So let's head on this way. There's a door there. We'll go on all the way down. That's red. There's a green door. Inside here somewhere has to be something. What's this? Table bed. Really? What the heck? Very strange. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, hold up. Now I get it. We need to move stuff in this position. So we need to move the bed. I assume that's right. Yep. There's a table that needs to go completely to the wall here. Alright, I'm just running into it for no reason. Okay, the only one that really properly makes sense is pushing this to the corner. I hear something. Ah, uh, here we go. Yep. Door opens. In the chest, there's the old key. This allows access to all the red doors, and Bastard's got it. Mainly because I have no freaking inventory space. <laughs> so anyway, I'm going to go ahead and back out here. And we are at 22 minutes. I'm actually going to go ahead and cut the episode here. And we'll go search some red doors next episode. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.